welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Greetings and welcome to English Language Arts Grade 6. Our topic for today would be recognizing and using indefinite pronouns. Okay, so an indefinite pronoun, guys, these are pronouns used to refer to no particular person, place, or thing. Okay, remember how pronouns, they replace specific. Uh, persons, places, and things, right? Specific nouns. Indefinite pronouns, they are used to uh, replace no specific or particular noun, okay? Now, these are very common examples of indefinite pronouns, the ones that you see on the screen right now, okay? We have the combination of the words some, any, no, every, with the words body, one, and thing. Examples, we have somebody, someone, something, anybody, anyone, anything, nobody, no one, nothing. Everybody, everyone, everything. Now, these common indefinite pronouns should be considered as plural, always considered as plural. So, somebody is, someone is, something is, anybody is, anyone is, anything is, nobody is, no one is, nothing is, everybody is, everyone is, everything is. Consider these kinds of examples as singular. But there are other kinds of indefinite pronouns as well, right? A lot of them are found in your books, but these are basically your, your common ones, okay? And some of them could be used as singular, some of them are to be used as plural, and some could be used as either singular or plural. Some examples of indefinite pronouns used as singular, we have each, either, neither, other, little, much, one, okay? These are examples of indefinite pronouns that should be used as singular how about plural we have both few many others several these are indefinite pronouns that you should be using as plural and how about those that are could could be either singular or plural we have the indefinite pronouns all any more most none some such these examples are common examples again if you'd like to see more you could always just check your books for more examples now, how do you use these in sentences, okay? We have, for example, number one, some of the milk is sour. Some, again, could, should be used as a singular, right? So, some is. All, okay, all here. Um, in some cases, especially when you use all and then you have a prepositional phrase after it, right? It depends on the object of the preposition. Example number one, uh, number two, I'm sorry. All of the pie is gone. You have all there. And then you have a prepositional phrase of the pie. Okay. Now, pie there is singular. Therefore, you will treat all as singular. But how about this one? All of the members have left. Your object of the preposition there is members. And members is plural. Therefore, you would have to use the verb have, not has. Have. For the uh, indefinite pronoun all. The next one, we have all is well, okay? You could have all is well or all are well. Both are acceptable, okay? Because here, all is not specific. Next, both are fine, okay? Both are fine. Both is supposed to be plural, okay? Next one, everyone enjoys the TV show. Again, everyone was the first kinds of examples that I gave you guys. They are always considered as singular. Just like the next one, nobody is perfect. Okay, so nobody again is an indefinite pronoun that should always be used as singular. And that ends our topic for recognizing and using indefinite pronouns.